Hello everyone, this is your lesson on percents and proportions, how to use proportions with percents and help you solve uh, word problems with percents. Okay, so uh, let's go right into this because there's quite a bit that we need to cover. Uh, one of the methods that you can use when you're uh, figuring out percent problems, especially percent of a number problem, is to use this method called the is of method. Now you might have other math teachers call it something else. Um, but I like to call it the is of method because essentially any uh, word problem, percent word problem, it can always be broken down where there's an is and an of, you know. So 15 is what percent of 25, you know, something like that. You can always break it down that way. And what we have here is we have um, two sides to it, okay? So this whole thing makes a proportion, okay? We have one ratio here, and we have another ratio here, okay? This ratio, that's your percent side ratio, and that's always going to be over 100. Now, it depends on whether your um, percent's given. If your percent is not given, then you just have to write N over 100. It might say what percent or find the percent. If we don't know what the percent is, if that's an unknown, then, yeah, you can make this N over 100, or whatever letter you want, C, A, B, it doesn't matter, um, but N over 100. This side is your is and of side, okay? And um, this will probably make more sense once I start going into some examples here, but uh, your is, you know, every problem is going to have kind of an is statement, an is part. You're going to put your is on top and your of on the bottom. So let's not waste any more time and just go right into it. Um, but if you ever have trouble remembering this, you know, it's kind of alphabetical. I comes before O in the alphabet, so your is goes on top, of goes on the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get moving here on the first one. Okay, so here's your first problem, 20% of 95. All right, so uh, we don't have an is. So let's go ahead and just make up what the is is going to be. So 20% of 95. So this question is really asking 25% of 95 is what? You know, 25% 20 of 95 is what number? So now we have a percent. We have our percent. We have an of. And we have an is. So now let's break it down and figure out what part goes where. Okay, so 20%, that is your percent. That's pretty simple. Okay. And that goes right there. So the N becomes 20. So that's what 20% means, 20 hundredths. If you want to go ahead and reduce that and make it one-fifth, go ahead, but you don't need to. Uh, 20 over 100 or 10 over 50, it, it doesn't really matter um, if you leave it that way or not, but um, as long as you keep it equal. It, your of statement's right there. It's right next to 95. Of 95, that's your of number. So you put 95 there. And the is is the unknown. We don't know what that is. So you're going to make that a letter. Okay? So you're going to make that X or N or whatever letter you want to use. And there's your proportion. 20 over 100 equals N over 95. Now we just have to solve it. We just have to basically solve it. So, And that's something that we've already covered. We've covered how to solve these, but it doesn't hurt to kind of go over it again. So 100 times N is 100 N. 20 times 95 is 1,900. And I'm um, basically just using, if you've forgotten already, I hope you didn't, it, I'm just basically using cross products, okay? So 100N equals 1900. That's what it is. All right, then just solve it by dividing by N, and you get, or dividing by 100, I mean. Divide by 100, and you get 19, okay? So here's our next one, 40% of 60. Again, there's no is in this problem, so let's go ahead and just make up what the is going to be. 40% of 60 is what? What are we trying to figure out? What number? Okay, so what are we going to put here? What are we going to put here? Hmm. Did you just say 40? If you did, very good. 40 goes there. That's our percent. Okay, so our percent goes there. Uh, what? Is 60 going to be? Is 60 an is number? I know it, it's next to is. And 60 is also next to of. So 
you know, decisions, decisions here. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to attach it to the the word that it's in front of. So you you want to use the of because it, it's it would be a stretch if you said the what number part related to of. That wouldn't make sense. So of 60. So you're going to put 60 in the denominator there. There you go. And our is is n. Let's go ahead and solve it. 100 times n is 100 n. And then what we're going to do is get 100 n equals 2400 and then divide by 100. So I'm kind of assuming you know how to do this. So I can kind of just go through this. n equals 24. There you go. n equals 24. And that makes that makes kind of sense to me. I mean, if you if you were to put that back in, I'm kind of going back a little bit. If you were to put that in there, 40% of 60 equals 24. That makes sense. You know, 40% uh, is almost 50%, almost half. You know, it's less than half. Um, half of 60 is 30. And, ha you know, less than 30. Well, 24 is not that much uh, smaller than 30. So that answer makes sense. You know, if I got an answer like 300 or maybe 240, maybe you just forgot to divide by something. Uh, yeah, you'd, you'd have to think, like, my answer doesn't make any sense. So go ahead and, and fix it. Okay. All right, sorry, I'm messing with the colors here. And we already did this. Okay, 3% of 230. And I'm just going to go ahead, this is kind of just like the last example, but I'm just going to go through this really quickly. 3% of 230 is what number? 3 is our percent. That's what we put above 100. 230, is that the is or of? Well, that looks like it's the of. It's next to of. So that goes in the denominator. And our is is unknown. We'll make that a letter. So go ahead and solve it. 100n equals 3 times 230, and you should get 100n equals 690. Divide by 100, and you get 6.9. There you go. In case you're wondering, you know, if you ever divide by 100, it's, it's just a matter of moving the decimal over. So if you want a little shortcut, you don't have to use your calculator. You know, decimal goes right there. Dividing by 100 is a really simple thing to do. Okay, here's kind of a different problem. 45% of n is 9. So the question is basically asking, 45% of what number is 9? Okay, so do we know what our percent is on this side? We do, 45%. We're going to put 45% right in there. And go ahead and do that. So that's 45. Of what number? We don't know what the of is. So here's our first problem where we don't know what the of is going to be. So we're going to put n there. And our is is 9. Cross multiply, 45 times n is 45n. 100 times 9 is 900. So here's an example of one where we're not dividing by 100. And I know some of you, you know, especially those of you that are pretty savvy, I know a lot of you basically just go, okay, well, Mr. Oliver, I'm just going to do 100 times 9 divided by 45. I, I get that. I understand it. But just be prepared to be able to explain your algebra you know, and, and show your work. Uh, we want to see this as math teachers and you guys as mathematicians, you guys need to know how the process works, okay? Your teachers next year in eighth grade in high school are going to uh, expect you to be able to set up a simple equation like this. But I do understand that a lot of you are just going, well, I'm just going to do 100 times 9 divided by 45. And yes, that does work and, it, and it's a great thing to do. I do that too, but um, just show your work. Make sure you show your algebra there, okay? So you're going to do 900 divided by 45, and you get 20. Now here's one where we have a decimal, 20, or a, a mixed number, I should say. 22.5% of n is 2.7. So we don't know what what number is, but we do know what the percent is. So 22.5%, 22 22 I'm going to change that to a decimal. All right, I'm just going to put 22.5. Try to avoid 
fractions within a fraction makes things more difficult. But uh, 22.5. All right, what number? That's unknown, so we're going to put our of as n. Is 2.7. This this kind of problem is perfectly 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 suited for, uh, you know, calculator. So 22.5 equals 270 divided by 22.5, and you get 12. All right. So sorry if I'm going through those steps a little quickly, but uh, you know, I, I expect you, we expect you to know how to solve proportions at this point. Okay. Here's an example of one where it's asking you to find a percent. And how do we know that? Because it says what percent. We don't know what the percent is. Okay, what percent of 24 is 30? So what percent? We don't know. Let's call it n. Okay, of 24, that's our of statement. But then in the bottom, our is is 30. There you go. So go ahead and solve it. Just cross multiply. 24 times n is 24n. 100 times 30 is 3,000. And then you're just going to do 3,000 divided by 24. And there you go. You got 125%. Let's see if that kind of makes sense. Let's backtrack a little bit and see does that make sense? 125%. Does 125% of 24 equal 30? That makes sense. Because I'm taking something that's 24, something that's smaller, and I'm getting something that's bigger. Okay, so I'd have to use a percent that's greater than 100. That makes sense to me. Okay, 3 is what percent of 12? All right, so 3 is what percent? I know on this problem, you may think like, well, Three is our percent because it says three is what percent, but three is not our percent unless you see this symbol next to it. You know, three percent. If you see that percent sign next to it, then it's not a percent. Okay. If you don't see that symbol, so three is actually part of the is. Okay. What percent we don't know of twelve. That's part of your of. So you got to be careful with these problems. Don't go through them too quickly. So or what percent, we don't know what that is. Our of is 12, and our is is 3. Go ahead and do all the, the math here, and you get n equals 25%. OK, so that does it for this lesson here. And uh, make sure you guys fill out the rest of your flip notes. Uh, I know I went through things quickly. Please go back, pause things, check things over again if, if things weren't working out for you. Make sure uh, you know, you're know you setting up your proportions the right way, um, and you should be good. But just let me know if you have any questions, and we'll help you out tomorrow, okay? Everyone have a good night. See ya.